Welcome back to another Whip Wednesday Daydreamer. Today we're going to be playing with spoons and some Mirachrome metallic paints. Have you ever been building a kit while daydreaming about building another kit? That's how you get to Whip Wednesdays. Whip Wednesday! Ragtag Daydreams is sponsored by NewTypeHQ.com. Hey everybody! Thanks again for watching, and just because I uh, didn't want to make a 30 second video, I'm going to start this video off with announcing the winner of last week's, you know, celebration giveaway for the Ball Ver Cop. So, the winner is... Steve Forte. All right. Um, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly because sometimes I'll see a name I think I know how to pronounce and then I don't. But hey, Steve, thanks so much for commenting. Thanks so much for liking the video and subbing. I really, really appreciate it. And I will get in touch with you very soon. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how to get in touch with you, as a matter of fact, but I'll figure it out. Um, it, as a matter of fact, if you have any questions or anything like that, feel free to email me or, um, yeah, uh, reach out to me with any kind of other messenger on social media or anything like that. I'll be getting your contact information so that I can send you the Volver Ka. Congratulations again, and thank you so much for being a viewer of this channel. Now, on to the meat of today's episode, which I'm very excited about. Uh, spoons and metallic paints. I've got Spastic's Mirror Chrome today, and I'm going to put it up against my preferred favorite, and I know that you know it as well if you're a fan of this channel, uh, the Molotow Chrome. Uh, we all know that this can be very, very reactive and finicky to work with, but... I've heard mixed reviews on the spastic stuff, so I decided to get a package of the spastic mirror chrome and the ultimate black backer for the mirror chrome and give it a little trial. So I'm just going to write on these uh, spoons uh, basically what backer I'm going to use. So I'm going to go between my preferred backer, the gloss black base from Alclad that I use for, well, most of my Molotow projects, and the Spastics Black Backer. So, I don't know exactly how this is going to turn out today, to be honest with you. I, I've used the Spastics only once in preparation for this video, and it actually looked pretty good, but I didn't even top coat it. I just kind of left it as is, as a, as a test, and uh, i got to be honest with you, it, it does leave a pretty good cool mirror effect. Now, it's not what I'm used to with the Molotov, but it's also maybe a little more realistic because it gets a little darker, I would say. Uh, the, the black backer tends to show through a little bit, and that's what I've seen so far. But, you know, we're going to test that out today by switching the backers, switching the chromes, uh, and even trying to seal them with some uh, preferred top coat, gloss top coat. Uh, the clear coat right here, gloss clear coat with a K from Alclad, because that's what I like. I think that it basically just is a very, very strong top coat to seal in any work that you've done. And again, my preferred top coat. So I'm also going to see how these react and how they look whenever I apply something that I've applied before, but just in a different color, the blue Tamiya clear blue acrylic paint. Um, I have used the red in the past, but I think I've got another solution for red because, of course, with my love of char, I have really ran out of the, the last little red mini pot from Tamiya that I had. In this case, I'm going to be using a clear red that a friend of mine mixed up. He likes to mix paints uh, based on, like, automotive kind of, like, bases, so there's stuff that's still thin enough to go through an airbrush uh, you know he, he, he's, he's provided them to me in the idea that they will go through an airbrush and they're for models he uses them for models as well but it's kind of a hobby of his that he will just mix up these paints with an automotive base so that he can have a very strong paint that goes on that is resistant to a lot of chipping cracking rubbing away that kind of thing you can probably see over here that i've already kind of started this project and i'm letting some things dry and cure between coats and that kind of thing now if you like these kind of episodes where I'm trying out stuff so that you don't have to, 
please give this video a like. If you're not subscribed yet, consider subscribing. And, uh, you know, that's what Whip Wednesdays is all about. You try out a new kit, try a new technique, a new procedure, a new paint, whatever. Uh, sometimes it's not new stuff to the community, but it's definitely new to me, and it's just something that I am working at in progress of being better at the hobby. No further ado, let's start painting. So my girl to pipe down, need it right now. Lately I've been going so the lights out. Got my face up and my eyes down. Shorty, now you know what this is like now. Now I got a big drop top and I'm rolling. And I told my girl I'ma be up till the morning. Feeling like I'm two, three, cause you know I'm zoning. Shorty got a way, we been chilling by the ocean. Now I got a big drop top and I'm rolling. And I told my girl I'ma Till the morning Feeling like I'm two, three Cause you know I'm zoning Shawty got a way We been chilling by the ocean I told him my way What can I say? Ooh, I got him looking at me sideways I can't take no days off They know I can't Lately I've been in a different mind state And I got him tripping I've been making his sound Got no time for misses Shawty wanna ring And she trying to be a missus I've been so ahead I don't think y'all really get Drip, so they see me making waves They don't even see how many chances I done gave I've been working hard, dog, I think I need a raise Said I couldn't do it, but I told my girl to pipe down Need it right now Lately I've been going so the lights out Got my face up and my eyes down Shorty, now you know what this is like now Now I got a big drop top and I'm rolling And I told my girl I'ma be up till the morning Feeling like I'm two, three, cause you know I'm zoning Shorty got a wave, we have been chilling by the ocean Now I got a big drop top and I'm rolling And I told my girl I'ma be up till the morning Feeling like I'm two, three, cause you know I'm zoning Shorty got a wave, we have been chilling by the ocean Yeah, yeah 36, I can tell I'm running stacks by I am a mathematician Just so many plays up for my dealer I get commission I'm walking, I got my bitches on this bed Like a mission If a wife, I can make it in the first time Oh, quarter million in the Hermes Hurt my shoulder In Dubai, I got my grades Down my turn and title Moving in a motorcade In the bourbon ride a solo Yeah, solid chest stones Look like breath mints Yeah, you rock fake jewelry I need an EpiPen That bitch fucking with a shoe She pescatarian She wanna come fuck with a boss She ain't that much Yeah now. Okay, first things first is the Spastix Black Base and Molotov. And that's been top coated. So what that is, is the Spastix Ultimate Black Backer. And it's made for chrome. Right there you can see it's made for chrome airbrush paint. Mirror chrome. So this stuff is made for this.
that's got the clear coat on it. And here is the spastics black base with the spastics mirror chrome with the clear coat. The clear coat, as you can tell, basically just ruined this. I mean, it turned into a gray metallic. It's, it's ridiculous. Now, because of this, I went ahead and sprayed another layer of the spastics on top of another spastics on spastics um, and did not clear coat it. And that's what I came out with there. Um, it's still not quite as mirror as the first round, but it's a lot more smooth and it looks a little bit better than this that's just kind of janky after I top coated. I did go over this one with the Aqua Clear. So it's a, a kind of a specialty thing. This is it. Okay. It's an Alphabet product and it's Aqua Gloss Clear. Okay. This stuff is different than the regular clear coat, gloss clear coat, okay? See how it's all murky and everything, but it still dries clear. Um, that stuff is usually used for clear pieces and things like that as a protective layer or something that makes it look just a little bit more like glass and less like plastic. Next up is the gloss black Alclad with Gaia Notes. And you can tell right there you're seeing me in this, uh, in my blue shirt and everything. Like that's that's exactly what I want out of a mirror chrome on this scale. You know, you're not going to get a true chrome because chrome is plating, not painted. Then the gloss with the spastics, yeah, uh, yet again, uh, I think it's the clear coat that, that did that to it. It's just, it's not, it's not reacting well with the Alclad clear coat like the Molotile does. And it's very strange because the Molotile actually, um, it, it tends to be very, very finicky. Like it even will react to like the acidity of the oils in your hands. The first one here is going to be the Spastics Molotile, clear coated, and then the Tamiya Acrylic. And again, whenever you're adding a, a candy coat or a clear coat, it does take some away. Uh, it does, uh, you know, kind of, I guess, fog a little bit, make a little haze, but it, it still holds true, I think. You know, fairly true for having that extra layer on top. Here's the gloss black Molotile. Same thing, clear coat and then the blue. Then here's the gloss black, the spastics and the clear blue. There's a little more shine that came in from the clear blue. And it gives it a nice deep, I don't know, it's a, it's a deep tone, like a deep metallic it looks pretty good though really and truly like i think with this top coat that looks really good it's just not the mirror that i'm looking for and then this is spastics on spastics and the blue after the clear coat i did touch one of these which that sucks but this is the uh, spastics molotile and then that's both coats of red and uh, you can see there where i actually touched it before it was dry yeah I suck. Um, the weird thing is that actually did seem to make even the Molotile kind of go a a metallic underneath there instead of a instead of a chrome. Like the the Tamiya left it pretty good, but that almost looks like a metallic underneath that. Uh, now the mirror pretty much all went away, and the only mirror effect you're getting out of that is the shine from the high gloss finish of the red and then there is the spastics on spastics or i'm sorry the spastics on the uh the, the, uh, the black gloss from alclad now it's a good red it's a good candy red i just think maybe i'm not going to be able to use that for candying over mirror chrome so definitely the clear winner today is going to be Molotile. No matter what you put this stuff over, 
even if it is uh, another brand's kind of product, it's it's just gonna be looking good. I will say that over the gloss black that Alclad puts out, it looks a lot better. So that's the gloss Molotile. That's why I marked these, gloss and Molotile. Um, so that looks, that's pretty mirror, that's that's pretty great. So that that's definitely the winner for any kind of mirror chrome in the future. Oh no. And then, and then of course the enamel uh no sorry the acrylic uh, it was to me acrylic uh the clear acrylic colors definitely hold more of a mirror effect through them than my new red so that's the winner molotile is definitely the winner on all parts today if you guys have something else that beats that let me know because so far, you're seeing what I'm dealing with here, and yeah, it's 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 not even close, really. Like, especially once it has a clear coat on it to protect it, it's not even close. So please keep in mind that I am going to try to put a clear coat on this kind of stuff because I do want to be able to handle it so I can get kits posed the right way and things like that. I'm, I mean, I, I think it's ridiculous to assume that any of us would just not touch something like this. You can tell I can touch that and nothing happens, okay? Uh, with regular Molotile, and once I would touch that, it would blemish it, okay? So, with this stuff, you know, it doesn't matter how much I touch it, 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 it still kind of looks janky. With this, I can touch it and rub it, okay? And it still keeps that mirror effect with the clear coat on there. So that's what I'm looking for here, guys. I'm not gonna plate anything, I'm not gonna go through all of that kind of stuff, but as far as paint goes, Molotile, is now like the two or three time winner for the different types of chrome stuff that I've made. But if you've got another one out there that will hold up to a gloss clear coat so that it can be candied and it can is actually a versatile mirror chrome, let me know in the comments below. See you next time. Medusa, Epasos, Asha, la, 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 sus, sus, Minerva, Ecobus, Ah.